Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Oh, we had a great question on one of our videos. Somebody wanted to add their logo on top of an image when you hover over it. It's pretty easy to do. We've got to do a bit of coding. Oh, and they also wanted the background to sort of fade out a little bit. Really easy to do. I'm using the image module here. You can do this on any module you choose, though. We're using a bit of custom CSS to do this today, but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write, I'll put down below the video, and you're welcome to use it. Now, with this system, we're using a pseudo element, putting it over the top here, but we're making it clickable too, so you can click through to the image below, have it open in a light box, or go to a link if you need to. Okay, well, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Okay, and let's start a new row. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to hit the little green button to start a new row, and I'm going to throw in three columns. Obviously, put in however many you want. I'm going to use an image module for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to get any sort of website built. It also gives you a dozen more if you've got WooCommerce installed to help you arrange your products. I'm going to use the image module. Like I say, this will work on any module you want, but we've been asked to do it with an image today. Let's find whatever image we want. Let's use that one today. Okay, now down below you've got the link as usual. You can either open it in a light box by flipping that switch to on or putting a link in here if you want to take your visitors to a specific page. Best practice as always, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. I'm going to use a light box effect for mine today, so I'm going to switch that on. Okay, so we've got a regular image there with a light box effect that's going to pop out when we hover on it. Now, this chap happened to want, when you hover over it, he wants to see his logo appear like on our other ones, and he wants the background to sort of fade out a little bit. So let's write a bit of custom CSS. And as I mentioned earlier, don't let this put you off. I'll put it down below the video. And the only thing you'll have to change really is the background color and the actual image address. Okay, so I've gone to advanced in the image settings, custom CSS. I'm going to go into the before. And the first thing we want is to tell it what content we actually want in there. So I'm going to say content. And because I'm using an image, I'm going to say colon URL, where the image is stored. Open and close some round brackets. And in between, we've got to put the URL for our actual image. So let's go in there couple of single semicolons and inside those semicolons we're going to paste the URL of whatever image it is we want to add on the top which will be the image for our, our logo so let's go to the dashboard we'll go to our media library here's my logo I've actually got this one is about the right size this is 203 pixels by 60 pixels high uh, if you get your logo in there, get it the size you want it. You can add a width and height attribute if you want, but it's easier just to put get the image about the size that you want it before you upload it to your media library. Once it's in there, click on it. And here you'll find the file URL. Hit the copy URL to clipboard or select and copy, however you like it. And we'll go back. And we've got to paste that URL in between our two little inverted commas there making sure not to cut any of those off. So there it is. It's put that little logo in there and we're using the before, so it's kind of put it before it. I want this logo sitting smack in the middle of our little image right there. So let's put a semicolon so we can add a new line of code. And we're going to tell it where we want it. We want position. We want it to be absolute so it stays where it is at all times. Semicolon. Now we'll actually give it some positioning. I'm going to give it top 50%, left 50%. So it's round about the middle. It won't look like it because of the width of the image, but then we'll offset it. So let's say top 50% semicolon and left 50%. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's there but it's behind our image. We want it to be actually in front of our image. So let's increase what they call the Z index or the forwardness of it. 
Z indexes with high numbers appear on top of divs with lower Z indexes. So let's try Z index. Let's try 25. Yep, yeah, that's popped it on top there. Great. Well, we want to put it smack in the middle, whatever device they're looking at or whatever size the image is on their screen. So let's do a bit of transform. And we're going to translate. And let's say minus 50% and minus 50%. And again, I've got to open some round brackets there. And I'm simply going to type in negative 50%, minus 50%, comma. And the same thing again, negative 50%. And as you can see, that's popped that little image right in the middle for us, which is absolutely great. Okay, well, they said they wanted the actual image to fade out a little bit. And to do that, we've got to give this a bit of a background color, then tell it to be wide enough to fill the whole of the area. So again, we'll add a semicolon so we can add more code. And I'm going to say background. I'm going to say white, which is FFF. You can see that's got a white background, but that's not going to achieve the effect that I want. I kind of want it a little opaque, so it sort of fades that image out rather than just blocks it out white like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hex code for white is six Fs. When with CSS3, you just need to put three, but I'm going to add some characters to the end to make it opaque. So I'm going to put the other three Fs on there. So it's FFF, FFF. And then the number 90. You can go from 00, 0 up to 99. 00, 0 is completely transparent. 99 is almost completely full colored. Okay, well, that seems to have worked. Let's put a colon on the end of there. And I want it to cover the whole of the image. So I'm going to give this some padding all around our little logo there. I think 120 should do it top, bottom, left and right. And it doesn't matter if it spills out because you won't see it. So let's give it some padding. And we'll say 120 pixels all around. And as you can see, that's now covered our picture. Which is great. And you know, it makes that picture look a bit faded out and we can see the logo nicely. Okay, well, we only want to see this when we hover on it. And the other thing, if we want to use the actual light box effect or click on a link that's on that image below, at the moment we won't be able to because this pseudo element's covering it, so we won't be able to click on it. To make sure we can click through it onto the image in the background and get the light box or link going, we can say pointer event. And we can just say none. So we should be able to click straight through that and get our light box effect going. So we'll say none there. Semicolon. Great. So everything should work. We'll try it out in a minute. But what I want to do now is actually we only want to see this when we hover over it with the mouse. So let's take care of that. Really easy to do. In our regular state here, I'm going to say opacity zero make it disappear like that so we just got the image and common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing here you'll see some little icons come up if there's an arrow like there is in this case and we need to hover over the one that, that we're working on click on the arrow you can set a regular desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it so when we hover on it we want to bring it back so I'm going to say opacity one which is fully visible we can do 0 0.1 0 0.2 all the way up to one for different values and as you can see that image has come back now the time it takes to get from hover state desktop state or vice versa with divi defaults 300 milliseconds i like to slow things down a bit so i'm going to slow mine down to about three quarters of a second i'm going to do that with some transition duration And let's say 0.7 seconds should do it. 0.7 seconds should be plenty enough for me. That'll slow it down a little bit. Okay, well, we've got just about everything we need now. So let's save it and see if it's going to work properly on the front end. 
save our changes now. Exit the Visual Builder. Go on down, there's our little image. Let's hover over and our logo appears and the image actually grays out a little bit there. And we can click through it, get our light box going. So there you go guys, there's how to add a logo over an image and continue to have it clickable. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. I hope that's answered the question for you. If you have enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.